My camera is charging, so we're taking it old school. <laughs> Speaking of school, I am not going to school this fall because I graduated a while ago. Don't really want to age myself too much in this video, but my little brother is starting college next week, I think, and it made me start thinking, what would I want to tell my 18-year-old self going into university? I highly doubt that my little brother is going to watch this, but if you are, no you're not. I've also gotten a lot of DMs the last couple of years for some reason, asking for college advice. Not sure why you'd come to me, I was definitely stress tweeting <laughs> all throughout all three years. I thought that I would just round up all my tips for you in this nice- oh my god this is so bad. You can't- I can't make gestures. And with all these tips, please keep in mind that I want you to be safe this semester and all the time. Follow guidelines, wash your hands, talk to your doctor about vitamin D supplements or something. And with all that out of the way, good luck. Oh my god, it's so noisy. This is the worst video on my channel. Oh my god. Oh, this one's kind of fun. Okay, let's talk about academics. My number one rule in college was go to class, no matter how tempted you are to just skip just, just this one time. Even if you go and just do homework for a different class, which I was guilty of doing more than a handful of times, go to class. It just keeps you on top of things. It's like what's going to get you half of your grade, whether you know it or not. Second, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. It's okay if you don't want to go to college either. There are plenty of paths for you to take. And you can always change your major later change your major and and you can always change your major later change your major later <laughs> visit your professor during their office hours read their study guides go to their review lessons if they have them even if they're optional don't treat them like they're optional they're required for you okay <laughs> um why am i so orange uh <laughs> what are these backgrounds oh also take advantage of your counselors because they're there to help you if you manage to plan out your four years correctly you can usually graduate early i graduated a year early so i would highly recommend doing that remember to take breaks not all of my classes required like intense studying because most of them are pretty project based but for example whenever i did have to study math i just blocked out an entire day went to the library, studied until lunch, ate a grilled cheese sandwich with pesto and tomato soup, and then continue studying until dinner time. That is not healthy. <laughs> Did I pass my math tests? Absolutely. Do I remember anything that I crammed in those 12 hours? Nope, not at all. <laughs> also, I would highly recommend using Notion. I wish that I had Notion when I was in college. It just didn't exist when I was a student, so instead I used a variety of different apps, namely Wonderlist, which I don't think it even exists anymore, Quizlet, and then the standard iCalendar on my phone. Also, I just carried around a little physical purple notebook, if anyone remembers that. You were an OG. Okay, we're changing the picture again. Uh, Jesus loves you. Regarding crunch week, it sucks, but I do think it's necessary. Crunch week, death week, whatever you call it. The study week before finals. Oh my god, the most stressful weeks of my life, hands down. Have a plan, prioritize which classes need more study time than your others, and just go for it. You kind of don't have time to dilly-dally. I don't like how this filter makes my eyes look. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the social life in college. I actually can't give a lot of advice in this section, but I'll try my best. Try to make friends with your roommates. You don't have to be best friends, but at least be friendly with them. If you have roommates that you do not vibe with, they will make your living situation a living hell, and you will have breakdowns every week. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. I moved out, so I'm fine. Oh, and if you're friends with your roommates, they might share their toasters with you so you don't have to buy your own. And if you have things to share yourself, don't be possessive. Obviously, draw your boundaries, but try to be understanding. You're all just college kids trying to learn how to budget what money you have and stuff. Oh my god, this is the worst video on my channel. <laughs> mm, I hate cars. I can upload my own pictures. Perfect, okay. At least for me, there was a lot of outside pressure for me to make friends, but go at your own pace. For some reason, my grandparents were really stressed about me not making friends in college. I think it's because they had really good friends that they've made in college and are still friends with today. So they just, they just wanted the best for me. I get that, but I don't know. I'm very shy. I had a lot of acquaintances in school, but no one I really talked to outside of class. But the friends that I did make, I had two I mean, very separate, but really good groups of friends that I trusted and really enjoyed being around. I kind of got out of touch with them since moving to France, but that's a, that's a me problem. Um, how to make friends. I 
My first friend group I made through an app that I also don't think exists anymore called Yik Yak. Breaking news, Yik Yak makes a comeback four years after being shuttered. One hour ago. What are the chances? <laughs> Basically, it was like an anonymous posting board where you could just post whatever, and there was a lot of raunchy stuff on there, which is why it got deleted. I'm pretty sure. But there were also some like genuine, wholesome posts. Some girl asked if someone could deliver her some ice cream, so I did. She was, I don't remember her name at all, but you know, it's, it's the idea. I would also suggest going to study groups or if your professor announces events go to them. So for me, that was programming competitions, hackathons, extra lectures or talks given by other people in the field, clubs maybe? I didn't join any clubs when I was in college, but I feel like that'd be a good place to make friends. I don't know. Um, I don't have a lot of pictures on this computer. Dating in college. I literally only went to like two or three actual dates while I was in college. That's because I was in serious relationships for the most part. And honestly, if I could go back and give myself dating advice, I would say don't get into serious relationships when you're in college. I'm grateful for some of the like good experiences that I had, but ultimately none of those relationships lasted. Most, if not all of them, were pretty unhealthy, so <laughs> it also had a lot to do with like the reason why I didn't make a lot of friends, because I have a personal tendency to prioritize whoever I'm dating at the time, which is also not healthy. And then my last section is not really useful for people who are staying home, but if you are planning on moving out, here are some tips to help you fend for yourself. I wish that I didn't focus so much. Oh my god, I just realized I'm probably peeking a lot in this audio. <laughs> I'm gonna... You're welcome. I really wish that I didn't focus so much on work while I was still in school. There was a point in my first year of college where I was taking on three part-time jobs at once because, I mean, I needed to make money to pay for the school, but I wish that instead I just started out Actually, I don't know. It's hard to give advice here I, because I know the college is expensive and you gotta pay off those loans somehow, but okay. Uh, so like, <laughs> I wish I just focused more on school instead of trying to focus so much on, on money. I did not have a very healthy relationship with money, especially as I was- Is this- Is this box in front of- <laughs> Okay, we're back to the city. <laughs> to give you some perspective, here in France- Oh yeah, all of this- all these tips only apply to like US folk. I can't speak to anyone else. But like here in France, it's very uncommon for people to be working and going to university at the same time. Unless it's scheduled. So like I've had a couple coworkers who would go to school for two weeks and then work for two weeks and then just, you know, when they're focused, they're really focused. And I think that's so smart. Another tip, take advantage of school activities. There will usually be free food. And if you're really struggling, there should be plenty of resources available. My university offered a no questions asked pantry, food pantry. There were job boards and free therapy, which I should have taken more advantage of. Things like that. I would recommend just taking a day to browse your university or college's website because sometimes it takes a lot of digging to find all those resources. And I personally probably wouldn't have known about most of them if I didn't quite literally really work on the website as my internship. <laughs> and my final tip on moving out, remember to just take care of yourself. Don't pull any all-nighters because they don't do anything except make you super tired the next day. And try to eat healthy, but like don't be too hard on yourself if you end up eating ramen for the third night in a row. My health and body image fluctuated a lot in college. I think that's normal. You're fine. Just take care of yourself. Oh my god. Overall, I think college is a really good time to figure yourself out, but like, don't stress out about that either because I've been graduated for a while now and I still haven't figured myself out, so good luck. As always, thank you for watching and please leave a message after the tone.